If you wanna know how you can also make this animated text, stick around for the next 3 minutes to find out. To get started I'm adding a background to my timeline and I'm going to the fusion tab. You can use any type of wallpaper or video file, so it doesn't matter what you have as a background. Then I'm having a text node and leaving it in between them, of which obviously it will create also a merge node. Select the text node, rename it, resize it and add a font of your liking and then go to the layout panel. Then go to the beginning of the timeline and then change the values of center x until it gets out of vision on the left side, in my case it's minus 0.3. Create a keyframe by clicking this diamond here and then depend on the speed, go 15 frames forward and change the center x values again to 0.5 which is the default values. And obviously if you want this to appear faster you can set this keyframe to around 10th frame and if you wanna go slower you can make it on around 30th frame. Then go to the transform panel, then go to shear, change its values to around 0.7 and then create a keyframe, then go in the beginning of the timeline again and create another keyframe with the same metrics. Then we're going back to the 15th frame and we're counting 3 frames forward, in my case it's around 18-19 frame, then go back to the shear and from 0.7 I'm turning it to around minus 0.6 then going back on the timeline counting 2 or 3 frames again forward then coming back on shear and once again I'm changing the values on x to around 0.4 the metrics that I'm using are not fixed you can use similar and then move one frame forward and change the values of x to 0 but just remember that each time they have to be lower than the previous one and is that because you have to represent the slowing down of the momentum. So this is the first animated text we created just using a few keyframes. Now I'm gonna show you the second animated text that you saw in the intro, which is the bouncing text. I'm gonna do it all over again. I'm adding a text note again, I'm resizing, rename it, etc. And then I'm going to layout again. This time we're gonna use the values of center Y. So I'm going in the beginning of the timeline, I'm increasing the values of center Y until it disappear from the top side then I'm picking a frame where I want everything to happen and this one is gonna be a little bit faster that's why I'm choosing frame number 10 and I'm changing the values to center y to 0.5 which is the default ones and now while I'm still on the 10th frame this time I'm going to shading and at the very bottom of this page you can see size and this time we're gonna use the metrics of y so I'm increasing it to around 2.0 and then of course I'm creating the diamond next to it to create a keyframe and just like the previous animation we're going in the beginning and creating the same keyframe when you've done that you want to go to the frame which you want everything to happen in my case I choose frame number 10 counting 2 or 3 frames forward then go on size again and change the metrics of Y I'm changing them to around 0.5 then going 2 or 3 frames forward again then go back on the size change the values to 1.5 and then move one frame forward and change the Y values to 1. And that is basic animated text, hope you enjoyed, make sure to like, comment, subscribe and see you in the next one.